Hello and welcome again to my channel, All Things Technical. Today I've got something uh, different for you guys. I've got here a brand new HP laptop. It's an HP uh, EliteBook 840G3. Brand new out of the box, I just opened it up. Uh, it comes with uh, Windows 8.1. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, how to tear this thing down, how to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive if you want. Uh, and just a few tips and tricks along the way. The reason I'm doing this video is because I've had a few people complain that the new HP laptops, uh, they don't have the quick, just couple of screws to slide out the hard drive or open up the RAM bay. Uh, it takes a little more work to get them open. So I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, tear down here and just how to upgrade or repair your, uh, your HP laptop. Uh, so that, yeah, this one's brand new out of the box. I just take the cloth cover. It, it works as a great uh, work spot uh, to rest the brand new uh, top of the laptop on because you don't want to scratch it. So you can lay it down here. I'll just show you guys this thing quick. That's a nice looking laptop. Uh, this one's fully loaded 16. Well, I'm going to be putting 16 gigs of RAM in it today here. It's got a, an i7 um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a great, nice work laptop, uh, really thin and light. So anyways, let's get out of here. So first things first, lay it down. What you're going to need today for tools is a small flat blade screwdriver. Um, I'm just using a very small micro one here that just pops the grommets off. Next, you're gonna need a small to medium sized Phillips screwdriver. I'm using a small one here just because it's quicker to use with the fingers. Uh, I've got a stick of eight gig gigs of RAM here. This one already has eight in it. Um, and I've got an SSD here just for demonstration purposes. Uh, this already has a new, one of those new AMSATA drives in it. So if you don't wanna, use the MSATA drive, or maybe you want to add a second hard drive, then uh, yeah, you can do this at the same time. So first things first, take your small blade screwdriver and all you need to do is just, is just pop it in the sides here and pop out the little rubber grommets. They have a little, these little feet, these little tabs, of pro you probably can't see that in the video, maybe you can on the angle there and uh, they just lock themselves in place. So what I do is I usually take a piece of paper like this and I uh, just move everything off of it and just lay everything out on this laptop. Some of the screws are different lengths and stuff, so that can make it a little bit more fun uh, for those of you who take it apart and put all the screws in a pile and then wonder where everything goes. It's not that bad if you're like me. Um, I've been repairing uh, computer hardware and building computers and such, modifying hardware for over 15 years, so you know, you kind of do it without thinking about it after a while, but I'm just gonna show you for the sake of demonstration purposes how to properly do it. So we'll just quickly pop these out. Don't worry if you leave a little mark on them, they're rubber and they will go back in place. Next, we're gonna slide out this SD card slot uh, holder, just keeps the dust out, a little dust protector. And uh, under that dust protector is a screw. So we'll take that hard one out first since it's the most likely one to get missed. Remove that, set it by the, the dust cover and just go around pulling them all out. Now, normally I like to use a small magnet to let these uh, screws come out of the base uh, more easily with your, with your hands uh, or more easily than using your fingers. So. I missed one of them here. The last one's in the center. And that's it for screws, okay? Make sure I got them all. So just pop them all out. Like I said, if you had a magnet, this is really fast to do with a little magnet. You just go around picking them up. You could dump the laptop upside down, but knowing me, I'll probably end up spilling it on the floor if I do it that way, so. Feel free to fast forward a little bit here if you want to skip me popping these little screws out, but I'll be done in a moment. Some of them are a little bit annoying, like I said. So it's sometimes nice to have even a magnetic tip screwdriver uh, really helps. <laughs> Um, I don't have even a magnet here to magnetize one of these small screwdrivers. Normally I have one with me in my workshop, but uh, I'm not there right now. All right, so all the screws are out. 
All you have to do now is put your fingers, I usually grab right around this slot here, this uh, card reader slot, and uh, somewhere around this side here, and you can just, or even the, the cooler here, this one's a little tighter than some of the other ones I've done. Just pry it up. You can even use your little oops, flat blade screwdriver to pop it. And it should just come off. Just be gentle. You don't want to wreck anything. And we're not wrecking any tabs by doing this. It's just a compression fit. Now, and watch out for this little network um, port here because that thing, I've seen people break that off before. I actually have a broken one right over there that somebody broke uh, that I have to repair, replace. And this one just doesn't want to act nicely for the video. All the other ones I popped off in like two seconds here, so just bear with me for a moment. There we go. Set that aside, there's the inside. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly go through this. I'm sure most of you know this if you're taking your laptop apart, what it all is, but uh, just very quickly, you got your lithium ion battery here, one, two screws, and the thing pops out. Uh, I like that, I mean, it's a little harder to access, but I like that it's enclosed, it's very thin and light. Here's where your your hard drive can go if you want to upgrade. So for those of you who don't know this, this is the new MSATA style drives. Well, new within the last two years or so. Uh, so these are just a small, much smaller uh, chip um, and they just slide right in. So you can simply undo that little Phillips screw there and it will slide out just like a RAM module or a, you know, any other electronic uh, micro board will, just like the Wi-Fi card here. So there's a sticker RAM. We've got another dim slot right there. So we'll take our new sticker RAM, just pop it open. Now, something I'm gonna show you guys, I did this before the video started. Uh, so a tip here I'm gonna give you guys before you touch any electronics, I'm already touching down here uh, a metal um, ground from my big desk here. This is a, a big uh, heavy duty work desk, uh, like a workspace desk, so it's all metal uh, feet. But normally I work on a grounding mat or use a, a wrist strap so you're always grounded. But if you guys don't have that, because most people don't have that at home, just simply take your bare hand and touch metal somewhere, somewhere that's grounded, that's a big chunk of metal. Uh, and that'll, that'll demagnetize anything in your body um, that might have uh, charge, like if the air is really dry, static electricity. The other thing you can do is actually touch the base of the laptop where there's metal and touch the ground and that'll just ground the whole unit. Uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and touch, touch microelectronics without ever worry of uh, static discharge. If you go walk around again though, then do the same thing. Um, I've been doing that, like I said, for 15 years and I rarely ever use the grounding uh, wrist, uh, wrist mechanism. So anyways, we just pop our new RAM in and uh, I've never wrecked a single thing. Um, no motherboards, no nothing electronic. And I work with electronics on a day-to-day -day basis. So just make sure you ground yourself before you touch any microelectronics. Okay, so our RAM is in. I'm not gonna add a hard drive in this one. We're gonna leave this 256 gig MSATA drive in. Um, while I'm in here, if this was a used laptop, I would take a can of air and just simply blow out the fan without blowing the screws around, I'll show you. Just kind of give it a quick blow. Um, you can give the whole thing a quick spray with some compressed air. Uh, make sure your Wi-Fi connection is connected properly. There's spare leads here, don't worry about that. There's our battery for our CMOS for holding the time and such. Um, if you ever wanted to upgrade the CPU, maybe down the road or something like that, you could just simply pop out these four screws here and the whole fan unit. On this one, you have to take out all of these screws to get this unit out, but nonetheless, you would just pop this fan unit out and you could replace the fan if it was dead or maybe the bearings were shot in it, replace it with a new one, upgrade the CPU, upgrade the RAM, upgrade the hard drive, uh, replace the battery, you know, whatever you needed. Maybe you even need to replace the little battery years down the road, but uh, it's all really easy to access. I do that on lots of laptops. It all depends what's wrong with them. So we're done here. It was real simple. Make sure it's in properly and let's put it back together. Take your cover, make sure you put it on the right way. Now, the thing you wanna watch out for here is you wanna make sure that this network, this ethernet port, 
uh, cover that puts pressure on the uh, Ethernet cable to keep it uh, securely connected. Make sure that doesn't get caught in here. I actually have one over there that somebody broke um, putting it together improperly. So just be careful with that. Uh, so anyways, hold that up and then just gently set it on the laptop like that and then just give it a push. You can hear it kind of click in and snap in. And next, let's do our auto long screw here first. That one in, put your dust cover back in your SD card slot and go around. Actually, something I'm gonna tell you guys here, a little tip. If you see me doing this, you're probably like, what's going on? Why are you trying to tighten a screw in by turning it counterclockwise? That's the wrong way. And in fact, yep, you're right. But do you know why I do that? Is because a lot of people don't know this little trip. What you do is you take your screw or your bolt. This works good at, with any bolt. This could be in mechanics or uh, even on machinery. It doesn't matter. Take your little bolt or your big bolt uh, or even a screw if it's already got threads in the material putting it into. Uh, normally this is magnetic so it would hold on here. Put it in the hole and turn it the wrong way like you're loosening it. Hear that? That click means that the threads are climbing, climbing, climbing out, and then they pop when they when they drop over into the next uh, slot when they're all the way around. So just turn it so you hear that click and then tighten it. And that way you will never ever cross thread something. You'll never wreck the threads on something. A lot of people don't know that little trick. I don't think I ever learned that from anyone. I just, I'm always working on uh, tearing things apart, fixing things, modding things, uh, and uh, as a technician, I guess I must have just started doing it a few years ago. I don't, I don't even remember, but it'll allow you to never cross thread a screw or bolt. So anyways, go all the way around here. All done that. Next, you just take these little rubber grommets, just stick them in there angled by the way. So make sure that you angle it towards the right portion of the laptop and just give them a push. Uh, they're not sticky backed which is actually, well, they actually are sticky back. That's wrong. They are, but uh, it's not just the stickiness that holds them in. Like I said, they've got the little feet on the sides of them uh, that really allow them to stay in there. So just put them in the hole with the curved part the right way. And for some of them, you might need your pinky to give them a, a bit of a push. And that's all there is to it. Very simple. I have to say, uh, though it's a little bit more of a pain for me as a tech to have to work on laptops where you got to take the whole cover off like this. You know what? I think I like it better. <laughs> and here's why it deters the average person from opening it up. And most of you that are watching this video, you may be the average person, which is fine, or maybe not a technician. And that's totally fine. I would be opening it up too, if it wasn't an area of my industry or, or an interest I had maybe. Um, but the fact that you're watching this video shows that you actually want to do it properly and not wreck something. So, uh, so that just shows me that you're not going to just go out there and wreck it. So <laughs> I do like it because it deters people from going in and wrecking things and doing things improperly. And if you're watching videos like these, then you'll know how to do it properly and not wreck anything. So there we go. Our brand new HP EliteBook G3840 ready to go. Um, upgraded with 16 gigs of RAM. It's got the MSATA uh, drive, uh, 256 gig, and it's ready to go. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you picked up a tip or two. And uh, you know, if you're really concerned about getting screws in the wrong place, maybe not on something like this, but maybe like I've had to tear lap down, lap, laptops down completely where you've got, you know, maybe a hundred different screws. You can actually take a little piece of cardboard and cut little slots in it. And then you just stick the actual screw in and you could draw out the laptop and map it out and you can stick them all in exactly where they go. So you have a complete map of where everything goes and you can stick it in and you could do different sheets or different pieces of cardboard by layer. Like maybe you took the whole uh, frame out for the motherboard and you do that on one and maybe all the keyboard uh, screws on another one or maybe the, the outer case or outer shell itself on another one, whatever you want to do. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned a few things.